Geico brings you the tail of the tape for this qualifier bout. Magnus Iverson is nine years older than his opponent. Adunjo is the taller fighter at six foot one. He has a four inch reach advantage on the arms and a one inch reach advantage on the legs. Andy Shepard, take it away. The following is a 2023 PFL Europe qualifier in the welterweight division. Introducing a first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striking specialist and stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in officially at 168 pounds. He enters the PFL Smart Cage with a record of two wins and no defeats. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Magnus Iverson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a boxing and wrestling specialist and stands six feet one inches tall. He went in officially at 169 pounds. In five professional bouts, he has a record of four wins and a single defeat. Fighting out of London, England, Tayo Adunjo. Referee in charge, Rick Smith. Rich Mitchell will oversee the action as the cage door closes. Tayo Adunjo in the blue trunks, Magnus Iverson in the black and gray. Southpaw stands for Iverson and for Adunjo. Big swing and a miss for Iverson. Leg kick slaps off the thigh of Adunjo there. There's that long jab from Adunjo. That's his best strike. Iverson's going to have to have an answer to that. Iverson has some unorthodox movement, but it's been effective so far. Tough to get a read on him. Adunjo able to move out of the way of that Leaping hook from Iverson, who now changes levels, Don't grab gets the takedown. Nice second Don't effort by again, Iverson Tyler. to do the little inside trip and secure the takedown. Looked like Adunjo was going to be able to counter, but that little second effort secured the takedown for him. Referee warned Adunjo against grabbing the cage again, so keep an eye on that. Already issued a warning. Iverson in half guard here. Trying to get around that right frame of Adunjo to land some shots with that left hand. Iverson staying heavy on top, and you can you can see Kenny. By looking closely, uh, Magnus Iverson, one year younger than me, and we have about the same body fat percentage. I was going to say, <laughs> those abs are just <laughs> exactly <laughs> like yours. All 30 of them. Iverson trying to pass, but Adunjo is able to keep the half guard, and now tries to explode and roll. That move negated by Iverson. Yeah, he's smothering Adunjo right now. It's tough to do a lot of damage from this position. He's going to have to find a way to posture up, clear his head, get some elevation so we can land some more damage from this top position with his ground and pound. He's trying to squeeze the full mount. Yeah, now moves into quarter mount. Nice frame there by Adunjo. Gets back to a proper half guard now. Trying to get, he's trying to get underneath the hips of Iverson, trying to roll him. Unsuccessful so far as Iverson gets that shoulder right across the jaw. Dan, how can how can Magnus Iverson maximize the damage from the top? Well, the thing he's focused on at the moment, and and Odeo's just done a really good job of recovering his guard back. So now you can see he's got the hips controlled here. What, uh, what uh, Iverson was trying to do was to get to half guard, so he's controlling him across the body. So he's got 
He's got this side hip controlled and the far side shoulder, and that would allow him to start to posture and to land Watch some strikes. But with this position here, with uh, with Odunjo having control of his waist, this is going to make it very difficult for him to progress. As you can see now, Iverson's just wrapped around his uh, wrapped around his head because he knows that he's at dangerous submissions here, armbars and triangles primarily, which to me looks like uh, what Odunjo is doing. You can see him trying to uh, creep his legs up here. He's trying to control. Here we go. You can see him posturing up for that triangle. There it is. Throws the leg up over the shoulder, trying to grab it. Uses that to scramble back to his feet as Iverson is forced to defend. Adunjo back upright. Paints with a punch, doesn't throw. Iverson finishes the combination with a kick, runs right into a left hand from Adunjo. Marching forward, throwing combinations, Magnus Iverson. Now, Junjo's trying to set up that left-hand counter shot as Iverson moves forward. You can see how quick Adunjo is. Big right oh, hand! Oh. And the hand was wow. Magnus Iverson first round knockout! Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rich Mitchell calls a halt to this contest at 4 minutes and 36 seconds of round number one, declaring a winner who will move forward to the 2022-23 PFL Europe season, Magnus Iverson! <laughs>